Hey everyone, this is TechnoLocker here with a video review for you of AOKP 4.1.4 on the Samsung Captivate. Now, since this is a video about the Captivate, you may be wondering why I have two phones here. Well, the Skyrocket right here is the upgraded phone that I have, and my last video was on the case for it that I have, which is a very nice case. And uh, I encourage you guys to check that out, but um, I understand a lot of people are still using the Captivate, you know, for various ROMs and they're trying to, they still use it and they haven't upgraded yet or they just like, like the phone better. Um, and, I, you know, I wanted to keep my, uh, my videos on that um, because I understand a lot of people like to watch videos and they do watch videos on the Captivate and not the Skyrocket. Um, so that's the reason why I brought those two phones out. But what I wanted to show you guys is AOKP for the Sky, uh, sorry, the Captivate, and um, it is, you know, a very popular ROM, and it's AOSP, which I really like about it. Um, and I want to show you in the overall features and everything. First, the boot screen. Now, here is the boot screen. You get sort of a. Um, Interesting little boot there. It's showing the kernel version. And now, AOKP is made by Team Kang, which is famous for its pink unicorns. Now, don't ask me why they chose that, but that is the theme, a, a, a reoccurring theme, that you will see throughout the ROM. Um, and the boot screen consists of a unicorn as well, so that's just a little interesting thing about this ROM. So, almost finishing here. Okay, so once you finish, you get this screen right here. And I changed the background, but the sock background you get will have a pink unicorn in it, of course. And so I don't have a SIM card right now, that's why it says um, no SIM card emergency calls only in the bottom. So. This is the stock AOSP lock screen that you guys have probably seen before. Uh, and this is how you unlock the phone. So on the top right, you see the, uh, uh, the, sorry, the battery and the Wi-Fi. I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi. And you know, it's all stock AOSP, just like the Nexus, except for the Captivate. So when I drag this, simple, simple stock, you just drag to the right. Drag to the left to go to camera, drag to the right to unlock. So I unlock it. Now, again, this is pure stock Android with a little bit of um, of a little, you know, a little change here. Um, with the fact that you see this little icon, and they may be wondering what that is. Well, ROM control is, an, you know, a feature that um, that... AOKP, the AOKP team has put into it, uh, into the ROM, and it allows you to edit a lot of the features that you'll see, you know, common features that you see in uh, ROMs nowadays. And um, before I go into ROM control, I want to mention that AOKP is actually a, um, it is a term, like sort of like AOSP, open source project, it means Android Open Kang project, which means Kanging is kind of like changing something to custom, and that's what they've done here with their ROM control. So if you click on the clock, like I just said, you're taken, you're taken to the alarms. Um, if you scroll down the notification bar, however, this is the only thing that is not stock, are the toggles. Now I have the Wi-Fi toggle on because I don't have a SIM card, so it says it would normally say your carrier right down here. Um, <clears throat> you got a GPS toggle. Bluetooth toggle and an auto rotation toggle, as well as a brightness toggle. So, essentially, you can customize all these toggles. You can make it so that it says the words. In fact, I'll show you that right now um, in, in a moment. But what's interesting about this is when you press the settings, you know, n normally like it would take you into your all settings, it just goes away. Now, I, I, 
particularly don't like that because I would want you to take into your settings like I would normally do. Uh, instead of just hides and then you can toggle it back, back across um, and then it'll come back across. But that's one little thing I don't like. Um, you know, it's got all standard Android features just like this. You hold down home button, you get the recent apps, you just sorry, you just slide you just slide to the left and it takes it off. And um, you know, you press menu, you get the uh, standard menus. Y you know, you have that problem where you can't hold down um, on the home screen and choose widgets or anything or apps. You have to do that from the app drawer. And when you open the app drawer, stock, all stock. It's got Movie Studio. Uh, browser, all these are pre-installed. Calculator, calendar, camera, everything you'd expect. Um, play music I've installed myself. The Play Store I had a problem with, and then all I did was um, was clear the cache, and it worked fine when you opened it again. Um, Sonos I installed myself. Uh, and actually some, some apps weren't even installed, like YouTube I had to install by myself, which is interesting. They don't really, you, you have to download the Google apps separately, but the Google apps didn't really come with YouTube. Just came with the Play Store and Gmail, basically. Um, so that's, you know, that's how that works, and then you scroll, you get the widgets. This is all stock, uh, AOSP, um, all source, you know, it's all the same, you just drag these onto the home screen like so and these are up oh, um I won't do that but you know drag anything and it creates an icon um simple widget but the problem is you can't do that from just holding down on the screen so now I'm going to show you round control which is basically the nuts and bolts of AOKP because um, everything else is pretty much stock. So if you click on ROM control, I'm sorry, I made, made an icon right here, takes you right into it. Uh, there's several sections about AOKP. You can click on, you can go to the website, their source, you can donate to the developers, all that. Um, and I would say AOKP, the only major thing that they've done really is add the ROM control. I don't see anything else besides AOSP that they've done to it. Um, the general UI takes you into this. You can disable the boot animation, which you can disable the uh, unicorns if you don't like it or it looks stupid to you. Um, disable the bug mail. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, now, actually, this has brought me to a different point. Uh, under the settings, system settings, you can go to the bottom now let me show you what we're running here. We're running Android 4.0.4, not 0.3. So this is this is pretty much the newest you can get in terms of Android. Um, the the build is number 33, so I was correct. Yes, it was number 33. Um, and the kernel version 3.1.10. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Now let's go back into ROM control. Uh, there's another really cool feature called 180 degree rotation where you can actually rotate it 180 degrees. Now, I won't go into every feature of ROM control because there are so many. Uh, LCD density, CRT off, so if you don't want that, you can disable that. Um, enable volume options. It lets you choose different things from when you press the volume buttons. And I don't know what the rest of this is. You can create a custom carrier label and then you can you know basically say what you want your carrier to be if it if you don't like it saying at t or something like that the navigation bar now that is really cool you can in fact um, enable the bar a notification bar on here where, so you basically have a galaxy nexus on your phone where you, you press the screen and it goes to the home screen you press the uh, active apps and it takes you into the active apps that is a very cool feature that I found in here. Um, you could change all that. I won't get into the specifics because it is um, 
it's really tough, but you know, for me to uh, go through everything. But let me show you. When you enable it, it says you must reboot. So I'm going to reboot now, and I'll be back in a minute to show you. Okay, we are back. This is the home screen, the uh, lock screen. My bad. Uh, so when you scroll to the right, it unlocks it, and you'll notice this empty space, which is the navigation bar that we just um, enabled. So when you open it up, wow, look, navigation buttons. It's so cool. Although, I have found it to be a little bit impractical because of the fact that, you know, you still have these buttons down here and you can't really disable them, um, I've noticed. But, it is still very cool, so you can click on active apps and you get that little animation, which is pretty cool. So, let me go back into ROM control. So, on a navigation bar, you can change everything from the width, the height, the color, the you know, even the glow color, the actions, you can make it five buttons instead of three, you can change everything. It's very cool, but it's very specific, so I don't want to get into all of the very specifics. Um, under the lock screen options, you can change the lock screen wallpaper. Remove the wallpaper from the menu in this window. Um, you can change the wallpaper, you can, you know, from the home screen one that you get. You can do a menu unlock. You can change the lock screen style. You can do a lock screen battery percentage, which I think is pretty cool. You can actually add the weather so it'll show up where you want. Change the volume music control so you can basically press volume up to change the song, volume down to stop it or play it. It's very cool. You can enable the calendar. I don't really have any events so I couldn't really show you that. You can enable Fast Torch, which you can long press the power key to turn on the LED, which I think is very cool. The back part of your phone, if, if you did have an LED, but this phone doesn't have an LED. Um, you can change the lock screen targets, so you can have a custom app that opens when you press something. And the next section is the power menu options. You can change the power menu options, you can make it so you can have a torch toggle, airplane toggle, navigation bar toggle. Torch toggle, again, there's no flash, so you can't really do anything with that. Um, but you can change that. There's not that much for that. But for the weather, you can enable the weather. You can set it for your location. It's very simple. There's nothing really to show you there because it's all what you would expect with the weather. For power saver, you can disable data when, you're, um, when the screen is turned off. Um, so, sort of like Juice Defender, where you can customize all that. Uh, the only problem with that, though, is if you're listening to Pandora, it would just stop in the middle. That's the only problem I would have. The LED options, we'll get into that. There is no LED for this phone. The status bar. Very cool. You can change the behavior of it. You can change all sorts of stuff. Um, enable brightness control notification icon transparency, size bar font size, transparency, notification drawer layout. There's so many possibilities. Um, just for the general. For the toggles, you can customize every single toggle. You can make the toggles have everything from airplane mode to tethering. I don't know what swagger is, but if someone wants to say what swagger is, I will put it in the description. Um, so, if someone wants to post a comment about that, you guys can in the comment section below. Um, so, you can customize all the toggles, it's very, very cool. For the clock, you can change the clock location for the status bar. Like, that is awesome. You can change the clock style where everyone you make, the, you can change the color completely different. There's so many possibilities, but what I find is I, I, I like the stock the best, so that's what I use. But, you know, you can make it look like it's not even an Android phone. You can make it look so different. You can change the battery icon, icon style. There is an icon only, text only, so you can just have the number, the battery percentage. I'll show you that right there. It just shows you the percentage. Um, you know, you can make it the circle mod, you can even hide it completely. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but hiding, it's not even there. 
Um, I think that would get, be make a, make it a problem though. You can make Akuma text so it has the number there. Uh, you know, whatever you want. Um, so that's pretty much that. You can change the color, everything. You know, there's so many possibilities. The signal. You can just make the signal signal text, but I can't really show you that since I don't have a SIM card in there. But essentially, you can change the signal to just show just show the number of you know how close you are to the cell tower. That's instead of uh, the visual, just having the number. You can set performance tools too. It's very cool. Uh, this this ROM I'm telling you is the bomb in terms of customization. You can change every single thing, almost everything, a single thing, and then you can change up the startup tweaks. Um, I won't get into the last two because uh, those are very in depth. So those are basically the main features of this ROM. You know, it's all stock. So whatever your whatever stock stuff. Um, you like from the Nexus will be on this ROM. Now, the next section I want to go through is the experience I've had with this ROM. Well, overall, I've had a very positive experience. There has been a few lags, but this is, again, uh, build 33, so that means it will be a beta. It's pretty much like weekly builds that they release. Um, and I really like it. The battery life is good. You know, it's it's average. It's pretty pretty much the same. You might get a little bit more um, than you normally would with any other ROM, pretty much. Um, I like the notifications buttons a lot, although I find them to be a little bit impractical, as I said before, because you know um, you have buttons anyways. But it is very cool. That's my experience with it. There's not much to say about it. It's pretty much just stock again. You know. Whatever you like from stock, this is what's on the ROM. Well, the things I like and dislike. Again, I say I really like the fact that it's stock Android. And it has ROM control. I really like that. You can change a lot of the things that it does, um, except the internals. You know, the internal parts to it. You can't really change as much, but the look you can definitely change. Things I dislike. Well, one of the main things I really dislike about this ROM, and it's not really that major at all either is when you press the settings just to take you in the settings that just goes away that's the only thing that I really do not like but besides that like really you cannot go you cannot go wrong with this ROM I, I use this ROM daily for about four days and I didn't have I barely had any problems with it just a like few lag issues I had but um, that's nothing major well there is not much more to say this for this ROM because it's pretty much just stock. Whatever you expect from stock, you will find in this ROM. So, um, so to end this video, I would like to know your feedback. What did you think of this video? Did you like um, the way I presented it? Did you would you want to change anything? You know, give me some give me some suggestions. So send them to me at technolocker at gmail.com, spelled the same way as the YouTube channel. Um, I really, I really would like to see your guys' feedback. You know, would you like to see more videos on the Captivate or the Skyrocket, or would you like to see, you know, more videos about ROMs or anything going on in tech news? Whatever you guys want, I'd just like to know your feedback. This has been a video from Technolocker. We will have many more videos such as this and general tech news coming up in the future. Thanks, and see you guys later.